I used to work with a sales guy who had these purple socks that he would only wear the last week of the quarter or when he was going on a final closing meeting with his clients. And he called them his closing socks. And it, it, he said they were lucky every time he wore them, he would close about 90% of the time. Now, as logical people, we know it's not the socks. They're, the socks aren't causing the closing of the deal. They're merely an anchor for him, a lucky charm, something that reminds him to be in that flow state of closing a deal. So that is a correlation, not a causation. They correlate it because they're on his feet at the same time he's closing the deal, but the socks are not causing the closing of the deal. And this is the problem I have with this challenger sales research. First of all, they don't share it. Second, they're, they're mixing causation. They're thinking that the cause of being a great sales rep is being a challenger, being a debater, being somebody who brings insight, someone who teach, tailors and takes control. But that's only a correlation. Because if they really looked at their research, I would say the correlation between the people who do that and the people who have, say, 10, 15 years of experience in sales is very high. So the causation is that an experienced salesperson has these characteristics, not that these characteristics are what makes a great salesperson. This is the mistake people are making, and it is really throwing people off. Because once these are advanced skills, but what really matters is that the whole game, you can't just use certain skills and win the game. You just can't wear purple socks and close deals. You have to know the whole process. In any sport, if you were going to play baseball, would you just play catch? No, eventually you have to hit the ball, otherwise you can never possibly win a game. So you have to learn all of the skills. And this is the problem with the challenger. It's correlation. These skills are correlated with being a good salesperson. They're not the cause of being a great salesperson. The cause of being a great salesperson is knowing how to do the whole deal from how to get in, how to build interest, how to keep momentum, how to have momentum, direction, and control over the sales process. It's not about wearing purple socks. So you can either learn the challenger sale or you can buy a pair of purple socks. You'll have the same effect.